Hi, today we are going to discuss the linear differential equations from the new differential equation series that we are discussing on our channel. I think it's the third part of that topic, differential equations for various universities uh, and for various courses like BTEC, BSc, etc. And uh, in this video, we are discussing about the linear first order differential equation and its solution, how to solve a linear differential equation of first order. And please subscribe my channel to get uh, more videos on this topics and uh, don't forget to enable the bell icon for getting the most immediate notifications. Okay. Okay, we are moving to the topic linear differential equation first order. First order, first degree, linear differential equation. And uh, we have its general form. And it is of the form dy by dx plus py equal to q. dy by dx plus py equal to q. And we have one more form. It is dx by dy plus px equal to q. These are the two general forms and linear differential equations. And here... We will consider P and Q are as the functions in X only. They are the functions in X only or constants. They may be constants also. Okay. And uh, here uh, P and Q are functions of Y only. Functions of Y only or constants. Okay. Now we can have its solution, it's a, uh, it, it, it is having a pre-defined uh, solution like this, its solution is y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus constant of integration c where integrating factor is if is equal to e raised to integral p dx. Okay. Uh, this you can find integrating factor first and substitute in this equation and integrate this q into integrating factor dx you will get the solution of the differential equation where p is taken from this general equation dy by dx plus p into y equal to q where p is a function p and q are functions of x only or constants and uh, here in the second type it is the reciprocal of the first one isn't it dx by dy if it is like this you can have the solution as x into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dy plus constant of integration c where here we are integrating with respect to the variable y now it is uh, for this equation we are integrating through x okay now for the second type the integrating factor is e raised to integral p dy okay it will be a function in y or constant p p is a function in y or uh, just a constant okay now you can find the solution of this linear differential equation using this two type of equations and uh, now we will do some basic problems okay uh, relating to this topic okay this is our first question solve the differential equation dy by dx plus y by x equal to x cube minus 3 okay we will consider the function or we will consider the equation and uh, before taking its p and q coefficients p and q uh, we need to confirm this dy by dx the coefficient dy by dx its coefficient should be 1 okay and if it is not 1 we want to make it into 1 by dividing that function itself okay now it is uh, already given as 1 now we will select this it is of the form dy by dx plus py equal to q it is of the form dy by dx plus py equal to q where uh, comparing these two equations we, we can have p is equal to 1 by x and q is equal to x cube minus 3 isn't it p equal to 1 by x and q equal to x cube minus 3 first of all you have to find the integrating factor integrating factor is e raised to integral p dx now it is equal to e raised to integral p is 1 by x dx now it is equal to integrating 1 by x we will get e raised to uh, log x isn't it derivative of sorry integral of 1 by x is log x we can write like this ln of x for natural logarithm ln x now e raised to ln x is x 
that's the property of logarithm and uh, you have the integrating factor as x now we can write its solution as the solution is y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus constant of integration c now we can substitute integrating factor and q here y into integrating factor as x y x equal to integral q is x cube minus 3 into integrating factor as x dx plus c we can multiply x in, into the bracket x raised to 4 minus 3x dx now we can integrate this x raised to 5 by 5 minus 3x square by 2 plus constant of integration c okay now it is the answer if you want to uh, take a common denominator and multiplying with uh, uh, 10 throughout the answer you will get like this 10 into y x is equal to here we can multiply with 2 2 x raised to 5 minus here it will be 5 into 3 it's 15 x square plus 15 uh, sorry 10 into c we can write it as c1 okay this will give you an answer okay 10 into y x is equal to 2 x raised to 5 minus 15 x square plus c1 okay it's a general solution because we have a general constant c1 here Okay, we will move on to the next uh, question. Now we have the second question. Solve the differential equation cos square x dy by dx plus y equal to tan x. Now here the coefficient of dy by dx is not 1. We want to make it as 8 into 1 by dividing with cos square x. So we will divide throughout the equation by throughout by cos square x. Now we can have cos square x by cos square x, it is 1, therefore it will be dy by dx plus y by cos square x is equal to tan x by cos square x. Okay, now we will convert this 1 by cos square x into c square x in both the uh, steps or both the places. dy by dx is equal to y, okay, dy by dx plus, in fact, dy by dx plus c square x y is equal to tan x into c square x okay now we can select p and q comparing with the general form dy by dx as dy by dx plus py is equal to q where p is equal to the coefficient of y here coefficient function the c square x and q is the function over the left side of I means right side of equal to that is tan x into c square x Okay, these are the functions P and Q. Now we will find its integrating factor. Integrating factor I have is equal to E raised to integral P dx. Now it is equal to E raised to integral P is 6 square x. 6 square x dx. Now it's integral. It's integral 6 square x is tan x. Therefore it is E raised to tan x is the integrating factor. Now we will have its solution. Solution is equal to Y into integrating factor y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c now we can substitute integrating factor and q y into e raised to tan x is equal to integral q is sec x into sorry tan x into sec square x tan x into sec square x into e raised to tan x dx plus c for uh, integrating this function, we will take tan x as t, okay, because its derivative is 6 square x and 6 square x dx is present in the integral. So, we will take uh, t is equal to tan x. Now, we will differentiate this. Pt is equal to 6 square x dx. 6 square x dx is already there in the integral. e raised to free y into e raised to tan x. y into e raised to tan x is equal to integral. Uh, here, tan x is t t into c square dx is dt, therefore it is e raised to t dt plus constant of integration c. Now we will integrate this using integration by parts or continuous integration rule that you have discussed earlier. Now we can have its solution like this while integrating y into e raised to tan x is equal to integrate this, consider this t as the first function t into e raised to t minus now we want to take derivative of t it is 1 1 into integral of e raised to t it's again e raised to t then derivative of 1 is 0 therefore we will stop here now it will be the answer will be like this and now we can replace 
uh, T. What is T? T is tan x, isn't it? Therefore, y e raised to tan x is equal to e raised to tan x into tan x minus e raised to tan x plus constant of integration c. This will be the, this will be the answer. Uh, but if you want to simplify this again, we can divide throughout the equation by e raised to tan x. Then you will get y is equal to tan x minus 1 plus c by e raised to tan x. It will be c into e raised to minus tan x. Okay. This will be the simplified answer. Okay. This is the simplest form of linear differential equation question. Okay, we are moving to the next uh, question, third question. Solve the differential equation y e raised to y dx is equal to y cube plus 2x e raised to y into dy. Okay, now for this we want to make this into a dy by dx or dx by dy form. So I am taking this dy to this side and uh, e raised to and dividing with the y e raised to y throughout the equation. We can have the equation like this y e raised to y into dx by dy which is equal to y cube plus 2x e raised to y. Now we will divide with throughout the equation by y e raised to y. We will get uh, x uh, dx by dy which is equal to y cube plus 2x e raised to y divided by y e raised to y. We will split this differential equations RHS. Therefore we, get, we can have y cube by y e raised to y plus 2x into e raised to y by y e raised to y. Now we can simplify this. It becomes y square. Now we can cancel e raised to y over here. It is y square by e raised to y plus 2x by y. Okay. To make it into standard form dx by dy plus dy equal, sorry, dx equal to q, we can take this term which includes both x and y to the left side of the differential equation. Now it will, it will be dx by dy minus 2x by y is minus, okay? Um, which is equal to y square by e raised to y, okay? Now it is of the form dx by dy plus px equal to q. Now compare these two equations and we'll take p and q from this. And uh, P is equal to, it's a function of y, it will be minus 2 by y and Q is equal to e raised to y, sorry, y square by y square upon e raised to y, okay. Now we find its integrating factor, integrating factor is e raised, e raised to integral P dy, it's to integral P dy because it is of the second form, e raised to integral P dy, now it is equal to e raised to integral minus 2 by y dy, we will take this minus 2 outside, e raised to minus 2 into integral 1 by y dy, which is equal to e raised to minus 2, 2 into 1 by integral of 1 by y is log y. Now we can take this minus 2 as a power of y in the integrating factor, therefore it will be integrating factor is equal to e raised to log y raised to minus 2. Now it will be y raised to minus 2, that is 1 by y square. Okay, this will be the integrating factor. Now we can have its solution. X into integrating factor is equal to integral Q into integrating factor dy plus C. This is the formula. Now we can substitute integrating factor and Q here. X into integrating factor is 1 by y square which is equal to integral Q is y square by e raised to y into 1 by y square dy plus constant of integration c. Now we can cancel the y square in the integral. We can have the differential equation as per integral as e raised to minus y dy plus constant of integration c. Now we will integrate this. This is equal to e raised to minus y by minus 1 plus constant of integration c. Now it is the answer is x by y square is equal to x by y square is equal to minus e raised to minus y plus c. Okay, we can find, if you want, you can find x. x is equal to, by multiplying with y square, you will get the answer. It will be x is equal to uh, minus y square e raised to minus y uh, plus y square c. Okay, this will be the final answer. No need to multiply with y square. If you are okay with this, this will be your final answer.
answer. Okay, taking a differential equation of the second type dx by dy plus px equal to q. Okay, now we will discuss the another question. It's an initial value problem. Solve the differential equation dy by dx plus y cot x equal to 4x cosec x. If y equal to 0 when x equal to pi by 2. Okay, now we will compare this with the general form uh, dy by dx plus py equal to q where we can write p is equal to cot x and q is equal to 4x cosec x. Okay, now we will find its integrating factor. Integrating factor is e raised to integral p dx. Okay, now this is equal to e raised to integral p a is cot x cortex dx. Now what is the derivative of, sorry, integral of cortex? Integral of cortex is log mod of sin x, isn't it? So for integral, sorry, e raised to log sin x, you can write. Now we can cancel this e and log, therefore it will be sin x. Okay, now this is the integrating factor. Now we will write it solution y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c. Now this is equal to y into sin x which is uh, integral q. What is q here? q is 4 cosec x. 4 x cosec x into and integrating factor is sin x sin x dx plus c. Now this is equal to uh, integral we can take 4 outside 4 into x into cosec x is 1 by sin x isn't it? Sin x into 1 by sin x into sin x dx plus c. Now we can cancel these two sin x and integrating this we will get 4 into integral of x as x square by 2 plus constant of integration c. Now we will cancel this 4 and 2 it will, it will be y sin x is equal to 2x square plus c. Now we need to calculate the value of c because this is general solution we, we need to find a particular solution. Uh, the key condition is given y equal to 0 when x equal to pi by 2. We can substitute both the values of y and x in this equation. We will get a y equal to 0. So for this is 0 into sin pi by 2 plus 2 into, oh sorry, equal to 2 into x. Here x is pi by 2 again, pi by 2 plus c. Now we can cancel these two twos and 0 into pi, sin pi by 2 is 0. 0 is equal to pi by 2 plus c. Therefore, c is minus pi by 2. Therefore, the general, sorry, the particular solution is y sin x is equal to 2x square minus pi by 2. Okay, this is the particular solution of this particular differential equation. Okay, this is a particular solution of this differential equation. Okay. Uh, that's all for uh, today. Uh, we have discussed uh, linear differential equation first order uh, and it's uh, two type of uh, problems uh, we have discussed. And uh, for more videos, please subscribe this channel and share to your friends. Thank you.